Monkeys. Monkeys? Monkeys? Is that you, Grandpa? If you ever feel like watching monkeys punch the proverbial lights out of each other in a legally sanctioned cockfighting tournament, then walk no further than 20 years ago on this little brick called Game Boy Color. Developed by the long-standing Taito Corporation, Monkey Puncher is a half-animal racing, half-animal cruelty simulator where the player must befriend, train and guide monkeys into becoming the champions of the monkey boxing world. You begin by picking either the male, who is strong and can go to school, or the female, who is the male's sister and is better than boys. I think something was lost in translation here, and this isn't the only example. Oh, and you also pick a room to start with. The story goes that the two protagonists lived happily in God knows where together with their father, who was once a famous monkey trainer. However, your father and the protagonist you didn't pick were kidnapped by the evil Saru group, which manipulates the monkey boxing league from behind the curtains. A man named Fred shows up at your house and talks about how he and your father were rifles. He then offers to teach you in the ways of monkey training and gives you your very first monkey called... Freddy. So now it's up to you to race the ultimate monkey puncher so that you can topple the Saru group's banana republic and rescue your family. You begin by stuffing the little sucker with bananas before it bites your hand off or something. As you interact, train and spend all your hard-earned money on your monkey, it gets more friendly, more powerful and more well-behaved. The days are split into mornings and afternoons, in which you can do various activities. Like training. There are five types, the first four being focused on four of the main stats. Skipping increases speed, punch bag increases power, running increases stamina and push-ups increase strength. These are mini-games where you push buttons to the correct rhythm to get your monkey to try and actually, you know, practice. The fifth training option is sparring against opponents with different stat distributions, which can raise multiple stats depending on how the monkey performed. Besides taking a break or giving items to recover the strength and stamina spent on training, you can also praise or rebuke the monkey. The idea is to praise it whenever it does a good job to incentivize it to do more, and to verbally berate the useless bastard whenever he screws up so that he doesn't dare do it again. Another activity you'll be doing regularly is shopping. You can give your monkey a list of things to buy, and hopefully he won't come back with only half of them and hopefully he will increase his knowledge stat. Alternatively, you can pick the exceedingly intelligent choice of giving a monkey all your savings and hoping it comes back with something useful. This can result in discovering new items. Most are food that recovers strength and stamina and can then be ordered directly, but there are others with various effects, like the books that teach your monkey special moves if its knowledge stat is high enough. Of course, you can also simply let the monkey do whatever it wants. Sometimes it will train on its own, or sometimes it will just piss around and do monkey things. Finally, there's the forming option, unlocked after winning your first league match. Freddy is just your starter monkey, and if you want, you can race multiple monkeys at the same time by going down to the shop and buying another. But switching monkeys is inevitable, because they have a limit for each stat. And as you advance in the championship rankings, your opponents grow stronger and stronger. Being the starter, it's only a matter of time until Freddy simply can't keep up and has to go on the chopping block. The solution is to send your monkeys on dates, in which they find a mating partner and produce offspring to serve as your new monkey puncher. You can choose one of your other monkeys as the partner or one from the monkey shop. Whichever way it is, the old monkeys disappear and you'll have to grind up the rankings again. But hopefully the offspring will be stronger, grow more quickly and reach greater heights. It's the Ouroboros of monkeydom. You race a monkey to its limit, then sacrifice it to the game development gods to acquire a stronger one, then start the process all over again. In a way, it's a bit like Dragon Quest Monsters, because the key to victory is replacing your current party with stronger offspring. 
but like I said at the beginning, the game is also half animal cruelty, and like the name implies, the fruits of your labor are displayed on the ring. A guy named Bill arranges matches for your monkeys. Every new one must first win a qualification match to enter the Monkey Punching League, scheduled for 5 days after starting its training. Once it qualifies, Bill arranges a league match every 3 days. You can pick one of 3 opponents around your own rank. If you beat an opponent on a higher rank, your monkey takes its place. Matches last for 3 rounds of 30 seconds each. Before each round, you pick a strategy for the monkey to follow, and you can also perform a trainer action to recover its strength and stamina. Once you've made your choices, the match starts, and you can sit back or make some coffee, I guess. While the racing mechanics are quite involved, the combat itself is pretty friggin' dull. There isn't much you can do besides twiddling your thumbs and praying to the banana gods. If your monkey gets knocked down, you can mash A with the force of a thousand suns to tell it to get back up. If a monkey knows how to use a special move, it will also be triggered near the end of round 3. The loss gauge represents strength, and if it's depleted, the monkey is KO'd and loses the match. The stamina bar goes down as the monkey attacks, and the lower it is, the more exhausted it will be and thus be less effective. If all rounds are over without a KO, the judges will analyze how each combatant performed and declare one of them the winner. If you win, you get the prize money and 5 minutes of happiness. If you lose, you get a dramatic scene and a pat in the back, so try again, asshole. Ironically enough, the monkey punching part is the weakest link in Monkey Puncher, while the racing mechanics are fine for the most part. All I can complain about is that it's hard to tell how much the behavior part of training really matters, since the little buggers keep getting distracted no matter what. At least the game looks good while doing it. While it's painfully obvious that there's only a handful of unique monkey designs, they are all distinct from one another and the sprites are detailed and well animated. In fact, the character art is good stuff all around. From a purely stylistic point of view, it's a very charming game, so it's a shame that there's no way to speed up the training animations, because they really start grinding your gears after a while. Stronger monkeys will just stay there repeating the same animation over and over for a while. It also seems that some monkey on the development team decided that forcing you to scroll through the training descriptions every single time was a good idea. But hey, if the biggest problem I can find with the game is that I can't play it fast enough, then it's probably doing something right. Even the piss poor and frequently confusing English translation just adds to the charm, because this all caps monstrosity is an absolute riot from start to finish. Last time I played this game was over a decade ago, and I have to say I completely forgot about most of it. So it's a pleasant surprise to find that it's a better game than I gave it credit for back then. Sure, it's repetitive as balls, but quite engaging and worth checking out. I guess you could say that it... punches well above its weight. <laughs> <laughs>